Welcome back. Now these teams, they were our bottom four contenders and this is basically their last chance. Our first elimination match of the day, Adroit versus Boom. This is a scary one because they're going to be playing under the new patch and they haven't had that much time to research. The, you know, part of the fun of, of seeing these patches come out in the midst of a, a tournament. I'm sure for the players, it's very frustrating, oh, but you know. No, I am dead. Going nice down. Dad. Absolutely. Mac, Makoto, mid. He's going to skewer away, but this is a lot of damage coming out from Gale and the Poison Sting. And this man dropping lower and lower and lower. Is he going to live? No. That's a lot of damage. That's like one HP, so it would deal like an extra 100 damage. Yeah. In I don't know, a couple creeps. CML is just gonna. Well, he's got the heal coming through. RP gonna be used on Makoto, trying to bring him down low, and CML has enough reach. And Bach now turns. He's got the Sandstorm out onto Ketcute, but it's not enough to kill him off. And the tower still stands. Droid keeping it alive. He is a little bit behind uh, the other cores in his game, but they're having a good enough game that it doesn't matter. Yeah, but on the other hand, Block is actually really good against Troll Magnus. Because you can remove the powerful stun from RP with the Dark Pack, and you can use Shadow Dance to trade against the Troll when he ultimates. So, all in all, he's a very good counter. Doom, oh. then ulti. A lot of air. In the mid lane, but Matt. Is slipping through it. Burrow Strike comes through the damage. Oh my god, they're gonna blow him up, but will they lose afterwards? The mag, yes, they will. Boomy now trying to TP out of there. He's really low. Like, it's weird, right? Because they have the more greedy lineup in a way with the mag and the troll, but they're still able to play so aggressive. It feels like with just the Sand King and the Tiny, they do so much. But Boomy now looks like he's going to be caught out of position. Uh, and well, at the very least, managed just to kill some of that creep wave before he goes down. Yeah, value. Oh, epicenter, dagger. Oh my god. The damage coming in and the golden phrase is not going to be enough. Bach just dismantled him there. Icebox does not help against a quick. Not at all. And now Bach gonna get chased down by Makoto, but he has friends. Mac is nearby. Kezcu, they jump forward, misses the skewer, misses the shockwave. It's not oh. RP. Can they find any more? Natsumi, oh, he gets the root, but the swap away. Kezcu trying to keep alive. Hide, and on the other side of it, Bach eventually does go down. So Makoto able to do a lot here. He's kiting them around, and now the troll's in a ton of trouble. They try and go for the Winner's Curse to keep him in place. Natsumi, he still has his ulti available, but they have oh, a spear yeah, vessel on him as well. Yeah, trying to turn, yeah. moving in. Boomy's big old jump from the Boom Man. And Kezcute now is going to be also chased down. So this team fight is not stopping. Eventually, they jump. Come back in again with the Doom. He tries to turn now. They end up ulting Mac and they jump in with Dream of Cell. Ulti, is it going to be there? No, he's already used it. They lose the Slark. Mac trying to back out of there. He's going to go for the double. He does eventually have RP if he wants to use it. Or you can just turn to fight here. RP on to both of them. Dream of Cell. Can they get the kill on that PZ first? No. Oh, the toss. Uh, Boomy, the toss. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's a good, that's a good. All of this farming that's been going on in this game, all of the cores are relatively close to each other. Even like, you know, the, the Doom and the Troll, only about, what, 4,000 gold separate the two of them? Oh, Three and a half thousand? What's the follow up? Where is the follow up? Boomy's here afterwards, a big old jump, but the Burrow Strike comes through the block. Look at the damage with that Veil onto all of them, but I don't know if there's going to be any follow up. Box is dead. He oh, and they managed to get the Getch so do the, the Troll. So do they have anything else following it? No, it doesn't look like it. I think Troll just loops here. Oh, miss CML. The power it's play. Be out of there. And the power on to Natsumi. How do they stop this pressure that's coming? Dreamo Cell, he has a DD. He's just going to walk in and tries to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against them. Has to pop the ulti, oh, nice. but there's a winner's curse onto the mag. Can they bring him down in time? He's getting lower and lower. Up stop afterwards. It's pretty, but Mac will live. He manages to survive through all of it. 
with the buyback oh. on the winner wyvern oh, again, oh, nice. unbelievable he does eventually go down to the flurry of blows but in the meantime boomy he's getting caught dreamo cell still living avalanche toss bringing him low and then the enchanted oh, was almost enough but it's not going to be there catch cute now stun disarm on to trolley try and back away from this with Mag dead now, it does feel like Boom are going to be able to retreat. Do they want to go in anymore? They have Doom Sanky back up in five. Sanking as Aldi, they have to be very, very careful if they full commit on this troll. The troll is one of the best baits for the Sanking to unleash a deadly epicenter. Right. I, mean, I don't think they want to go into the rush right now. It's so dangerous. Oh, they want to go into the rush? He are took the epicenter damage talent as well. Twenty Plus 20 damage per pulse. Oh, you have that level 10? Yeah. And Avalanche toss bro strike trying to take down the Slark. Can they get him? Yes. Adroit, fine kill. And now Roche is back open for him again. So that's the 20% upgrade on level one. Yeah. yeah. Pretty crazy. A pretty good talent. Wait, Winner's Curse, nine. Can they can they bait this out? A stomp, the toss, Makoto, he's coming! Makoto's in there! Now the swap to keep him alive afterwards, the Doom comes down. Do they have anything left to take? Another Winner's Curse is gonna be available in a second. They're trying to bring him down. The epicenter damage is not enough to kill off Dreamo Cell. They're saving the curse, high chasing forward, looking for an opening. But the time they managed to get the Aegis on Dreamo Cell. Makoto finds the kill on his smell, and Boomy and Mac eventually gonna fall as well. Boom, boomed him. Yeah, no. Dream of Cell now going towards the Scott. Yeah, I'm glad that he changed his mind about the BKB. I felt like the BKB was not the most efficient item. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Dream of Cell. They find him. Oh, they knew right where he was going to be. Right clicked, dead. That's nice. That's on the bench. Doom has Halbert, BKB. Beno has hel another Halbert. Oh, this is a very, very good choice of items against the troll. They have double Halbert. Mm, definitely. And Boomy slowed down. He is, is in kind of a world of hurt here. He has a Yule Scepter still to try and keep himself <laughs> alive, but yeah, it's not looking great. And that. Well, oh, turn now. I, oh, oh no, the winter's curse. And they get the doom on the back lines for the mag. I don't know if it's quite going to be enough. Splinter Blast, the right click coming through, but Boomy will eventually die as well. Double kill for FBZ. They double swap. And now the chase down with the deal with the hook stop afterwards. They're curing it together beautifully. Now the cold embrace to keep them alive. Winter, you talked about the Wyvern, and it is doing everything they needed to. Disarm, anything at all. Atsumi can't buy a target, but they finally are going to be able to find that Burrow Strike onto Makoto. Kezku jumping forward, trying to find the sun. Natsumi trying to run away, but Dream of Cell says no. And Bach can do the epicenter all that he wants, but eventually E2 is going to take a ton of damage and end up falling to Dream of Cell. Uh, Five dead again. Uh, in the best manner possible in the fights. I think he was the, definitely the key, key hero that changed the complexion of that fight. Oh, and CML trying to make something here to slow him down. Oh, maybe Dream of Cell is too far. Avalanche says no, we get the deal off. Oh, good play by Dream of Cell. And now they're able to find the Enchantress again. No glimmer. This time with the RP. Okay, a buyback from the troll. They've got the cold embrace. It's so hard to kill this freaking Slark. He is ridiculously hard to handle, but they will eventually get him. No more ulti left. And he said for two minutes, actually. Yeah, it'll be like, what, seven second cooldown? Six, seven second cooldown? Yeah. The Ag's applying Caustic now also is uh, providing oh, that extra bit of value. Yeah, it's actually even better than before. Kodo, this is not the man you want to initiate on. This is not the guy. This is not the one, but they will bring him very low. Bach going to get dropped on. Hot is there afterwards. They find Mac yet again. And now the winner's curse onto this Sand King. They're going to be able to blow up Mac, take him down. Don't try and fight the Veno. It's not worth it. That's Boomy turning on to Dream of Cell. They've already lost two for the Venno, but Boomy 2 will fall, and now the chase down coming. FBZ wanting to take down CML as well as Natsumi. We'll see if they can actually make it happen while well, Boomy's still living, but eventually does get brought down. And it's going to be, it looks like, 4-4-1. Four, four, yeah. MEP of the fight. The Doom and Wyvern. Goal to like wait on his RP until the last second, but 
you know, you just get that gem out there. You spotted him the entire time and well, boom, make it work. Four dead. There's no buyback on these heroes. They're going to lose at least one set of racks. Ooh, Ninja Gear. Ninja hey. Gear. Ninja Gear for the Winter Warrior. Nice. Oh, they're not going to give him the outpost. In fact, well, Avalanche toss FBZ pops the BKB. Kodo is there as well. They do not have eyes on the Wyvern. Dreamo Cell going to back away afterwards. And Natsumi going to again try and take over this outpost. Is it worth it? Is oh, it stop. really, it's really worth it? Said, Epic Center really? trying to turn it. No! But it, it's it's just not looking that great. Got to run away now. Oh, Natsumi, he's in trouble. Pulling over the center, trying to get him to stomp maybe or just keep back. Boom. But they're relentless. The slow and steady chase down, but maybe a chance for a turn on. They find the wyvern. No, we got the toss onto the sand kick's head. High still to be oh, controlled. The RB. Is it going to be enough to hide it there for the turnaround? And they don't have anything. Boom. will not be able to follow it up. Mac tries to run away. They've doomed the troll. Bad to worse to really, really terrible. But he does have Satanic. Okay, a chance for a turnaround, but immediately going to be Halberd. He's broken. Dream of Cell keeps the damage onto the troll who eventually dies. A double kill, soon to be a triple kill. And they are taking no prisoners. One by one by one. Hyde does eventually go down, but the fight is already lost. Troll's dead 100 seconds. And there. What an inspired pick. And it fits in perfectly. Boom. Going to find themselves a victory here on the verge of moving on. And Adroit in some trouble. They're going to feel a chick. Right. No, no, Silencer no, no. is a core hero, I and we are seeing me come Silencer now. Our second game of our first best of three. Is Adroit going to get eliminated? We'll find out. Lyrical and Winter will walk you through this match. Got it. The rotation in towards mid. This is the danger zone. Makoto, this is what sometimes happens against mid Silencer. Skewered back into the tower. Pretty as can be from Mac, and he is going to eat that arcane curse, but it's not enough for the kill. Sure. This this lane is very beastmaster favorite. Faces for it does not do too good against beast. But he's trying to get another bash. Jumps over. Another stun. stun. And that's more than enough. They find the kill on the box. Second kill of the game. But Boomy manages to bring down Keski with the avalanche. And that was it. CML. He's going to get chased down by Hyde as well. Dragon on Dragon on Phoenix. And CML does not. Well, they push pop the south. No, hide! Oh, he gets caught. And Boomy again making the rotation, getting the kill. Or I don't know, because they, they it hasn't really been like the full fight the way it was supposed to go. Uh, I don't think they were like I don't think the drop is that cute. Oh no. Oh, oh. no. Jump in again. Pango trying to get his ulti off. He's gonna be able to do it, but he's not hitting onto anybody. Roar controlling that faceless void. They have the supernova out. Boomy dodges away in the other direction. And that Sumi thinking about chasing in for more. Actually he's gonna jump in. He blows up another FBZ gun. And a droid end up trading. This looks like two for one, and a lot of spells used yet again. Maybe they thought that there was a chance. There's no way that they thought there was a chance they could make it happen afterwards. Uh, so Dreamless Cell here is going to have his Agonim Scepter going mid lane. Oh god, the RP catches the Silencer, catches the Phoenix, roar afterwards for good measure. And yeah, this is looking real rough. They're gonna chase down Keskute as well. The Venge is gonna die. 
and dream will sell can just go back and try and farm uh, not, no. Radiant's bottom tower well, is under attack. Uh, Jump in again. Eventually we're gonna find out. <laughs> well, dream will sell still being I mean, chased. If you, if you could get the multiple bash pro, then I think it's broken. Yeah. Well, Bach, he's in a lot of trouble. They're gonna roar the Pango actually. Now trying to run out of here. Bach is eventually going to be brought down, but the rest of the team shows up. Global afterwards. BKB from Mac. He didn't have RP available, but they will be able to chase down onto Hyde. Chronosphere only landing onto the morph, but it might be good enough. Boomy gets the Yule Scepter lift up. They kill the egg. Now Dream will sell. Trying to get out of there. They've still got eyes on him, though. The bash. Natsumi turning, punching, trying to kill him off. The full combo comes out, and yeah. well, uh, this is, it, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. It's it's not working. <laughs> I guess is the, the, the end result. And some of that is probably just like some of the early rotations in Detroit making really good moves. Boomy, oh, he does the ring around the Rosie. Still trying to get out of there. Just destroys Keskew. Now turning on to Hyde, who just has to run away. Roar comes out afterwards. FBZ, couple more punches. He is dead. Dreamwell tries to clear through that wave with one time walk, but man, it is it is just going from bad to worse. Triple kill Natsumi. They storm high ground, and they are not afraid of anything. I can see this build working in a maybe not against Mortal, but again in a specific scenario. Because it allows you to do damage while at the same time be really tanky or skewer. Ango, just dead. Natsumi, unstoppable. And Mac did not even have to use the RP there. Just the blink skewer. Dream of Cell does have Chrono, jumps in, finds himself alone with Roche. Avalanche, toss, Global comes out afterwards with the RP and dead! Oh, they played him real hard. Triple kill for Natsumi. GG, they're done. Dude, he, did, he just exited the game. He's like, get me out of here. Unreal. Probably going to be the bot hero right now. Um. The deciding match of whether it's either going to be Adroit or Boom to be eliminated. We'll only find out. And just mana burn him. Oh, oh, oh. Hide. Making the rotation mid. Avalanche toss throws him in place. Fairy Fire trying to live, but they didn't cast tree armor from CML. He made the rotation instead. A little bit of extra time for the Titan oh, to just get a wave. To They're going to follow Natsumi. They know he TP down here. Surprise! Oh They're breeding everybody. The Chen pulls it back in as well. brother bullying the elder brother. Oh, that's really annoying. Dream of Cell finishes off, gets the kill on the Anti-Mage. Winter, it's your favorite time of the game. Catapult wave. And looking to try and take this fight afterwards. Recall. Oh, the rotation coming in. Hyde is back behind enemy lines. They're moving in. Big Avalanche, big he ravage. tries to make it happen. He's moving into position. Boomy gets the Ravage on to three. Where's the follow-up? It's right there. They have the overgrowth afterwards and the fear. The full combo comes out from a droid. You mean the minus armor? Yeah. yeah. It makes sense for, for the draft. But the AM is not ready to fight yet. He needs, uh, I think he's going to need BKB at some point. Avalanche toss, Boomy caught, swapped out by Bach. He has Blink back up again in a second. They recall, Dream of Cell gets the stun up. Afterwards, onto the Venge, and they also blow up Boomy. And now Natsumi, forced to pop the Manta, jumps in from Dream of Cell. Hyde still looking, tosses him back into all of this. CML doesn't have any way to stop it, and that's Aegis already dead. With two dead, I don't know if they can take this fight. Requiem of Souls is going to come out afterwards? No, they hold off on it. I mean, Nature's that, Grass does a pretty good job. They still have the Venge. Illusion, they can still chase this a little bit if they want. That fight was all Mikoto, man. Again, Mikoto oh. going in. Find him. And the nukes from Shadowfin. So it's a big, it's a very big deal that he has PKB right now. Ooh, he's gonna get broken there. They've got Kraken. Oh, swap out though. It's gonna keep him alive. They toss. And well, it's actually gonna be Bok. They got the swap and the Ravage comes out. BKB from Makoto. But look at that damage. Trying to bring him down. Not quite enough to get the kill on the Invoker. So in the end, Ravage 
used, and I don't know if they're going to be able to do that much more. They toss again onto the Shadow Fiend, Mac. He's BKB'd, but he's so low already. The constant chase down coming. Makoto right clicks coming through, trying to get him, but he goes invis. And no detection is available. Hyde jumps back in. The turnaround, it's going to be enough to find the kill, but they immediately blow up the Tiny afterwards. It's a DD on Dream of Cell. You got to be real careful if you're Natsumi. To him, trying to get damage block out. Tornado lift yet again. Natsumi in trouble, and Natsumi gonna die. Boomy, the last one here left in the nearby area, and he is being chased down constantly, consistently, sunstruck, and killed off. <laughs> Boom, looking real, real good, and Adroit struggling to come up with answers. Okay, Shofin's building a hex. They have a severe issue with lockdown. Mm -hmm. Another tornado. They call for Seb. As the EMP gonna miss. Dream Coil onto two. BKB in the Requiem afterwards. It's gonna get the fear onto several. Boomy with the Ravage afterwards. Hits the stun onto three. Can they find any more though? Makoto will get the combo coming out from this one. Natsumi's BKB has already popped. They gotta be careful because the turnaround combo could be ridiculous. Hide already getting brought down low, but not dead yet. Boomy Chase. The Invoker is thinking about coming back in again, but. Oh no, he, te he gets out of there. So they will be able to set it even as the anti-mage ended up dying in that fight. And it looks like he's going to head back towards the Ancients afterwards in the smoke up. So they knew exactly where the AM was and now they're getting ready to go on him. Dream of Cell is gonna know that something could be coming his way, but instead they go towards the mid lane and the jump in Ravage onto the puck. Well, if they don't get this kill, that was gonna feel real rough. FBZ gets the blink out. Ooh, dang. And it's dead bottom? Yeah. Wait, they got the hex onto him. Oh, but again, Makoto saving a life. Oh, Makoto. Terrorblades heading in. They smoke up with the rest of them. Dreamo Cell punching away. They got to get vision inside this pit. They're walking on in and going to see that it's very, very low. Ready to jump in at a moment's notice. They all leave the pit, though. BKB Natsumi, he's slowed down. This is the full BKB that's going to be used. The fear is there. They jump in, try and get it. Dream of Cell gets the Aegis. They got the last hit, too. FBZ is dead, though. Natsumi's still standing tall. Hasn't even popped the Manta yet. This is hard to fight into if you're boom. They've committed super hard. Hyde is going to die, but they to at least get the Aegis on Dream of Cell. He needs to buy everything he can. He's thinking about a rapier. Rapier? Really? Mm. Well, I don't know, maybe not. He's got I, MKB queued up still, but... I don't think they need Rapier. They have more than enough damage. Natsumi, six round for the bounty rune. They got the coil afterwards. Leash as well. The fear, it's going to connect on to that invoker, but the Aeon disc is going to be propped. Dream Cell jumps forward. They turn immediately, and the Ravage comes out, trying to bring down the Anti-Mage. He's dead. That's the Aegis only. Hide now, trying to run in and play a little bit of interference for their man. He's getting brought down, but the Yule Scepter keeps him alive afterwards. Dream Cell trying to back out. They get the silence now onto the TB, but he's not dying yet, and will have Sunder when he comes out of there. Sunder CML. That's what you get for being a good support. They jump forward, find a catch, and there's the root on the AM. He's dropping down dead. 70 seconds, he's gone, and Mac barely living there. The tree armor, but the jump in from Dreamo Cell gets the finish. Is it going to be enough to let him live? It looks like it will. Dreamo Cell able to jump in for the kill and then get out afterwards. In the meantime, Hyde is gonna be chased down. Can they get him brought down? He's still got those spider legs making him oh so quick. And with the Blink Dagger back up. For Shadow Fiend, any other 25s that have come up? We've got Anti-Mage who's 28 and did decide to take the Counterspell Magic Resistance instead of the added cooldown. Roche is up and it's gonna be a refresher shard as they find him. Oh, again, FBZ. Swapped back in. Oh my god, he's so good. He's just out of there. He is really, really good at Dota. <laughs> That's what he's doing. But they're going in for the Roche, and they're actually a little bit separated. Boomy kind of far away from the rest of them. Avalanche toss already out in Dream of Cell. He's found Boomy. He doesn't have mana for anything. He's got to get the heck out of here. Trying to get the Requiem off. The Shadow Fiend is going to get it. The right click score on Andy Mage dead. 100 seconds out of here. Oh, no, now. Next one they turn upon. That's the Aeon Disc already procced, and they will lose Bach afterwards. 
Kezku taking over one of these little hill trolls, trying to get somebody on top of him and hide. Actually doesn't have a way to get out of there with a the blink. Kezku barely able to make his way out, but the Ravage Boom, he got his mana back in. And now the right click's coming through, almost taking down Hyde, but not quite dead yet. Avalanche four staff up to the high ground. FBZ jumps in, gets the silence on the several. Still Here trying to chase. Here comes the AM. Image. But look at Mac. Mac. Shadow bladed. Yeah, he can't go in on the AM right now. BKB stone cooldown. Refresher used. Now it's Boom that are running into the pit. Now they should know that there's a potential for a second Ravage. But will it actually be used? All the lanes are pushing in a good position and Boomy is moving over towards the mid. This would be a huge Ravage again if he's able to hit it, thinking about the jump in. Mac looking for the opening now as well. Aeon Disc still on cooldown for both of these heroes, but they get the Aegis, they get the cheese and they get Refresher. They did not want to run in without Metamorphosis, and now they're going to catch CML. He's going to go down. Abyssal Blade on the other side, not going to find any more kills. Natsumi turns onto the Invoker. The Ravage, they're separated. Where's the health? Where's the team? Where's anybody? The Anti-Mage drops dead. Invoker's dead for 90 seconds, no buyback. Sheep stick off cooldown in five seconds. If they can wait long enough, Dream will sell PKP, trying to walk away, trying to get out of there. And they're trying to get him out. It does look like Dream of Cell will escape just barely. So imagine he gets the full combo off. Oh my god. Tide has the CDR. Makoto and FBZ sitting nearby. The Requiem getting queued up afterwards. Can they kill him in time? They will. Tried to ravage. Didn't end up happening. Gem still left on the ground. They are going to be able to walk back for Makoto. Swap back in. There's the Abyssal Blade afterwards. Makoto gets demolished. They bring them down. It's a pretty good job right now by Adroit to keep themselves uh, in good position on the map. But Hyde keeps on taking down these trees and Abyssal Blade going to open up right at the start. Requiem coming. Is it going to be enough? They already have the leash onto all of them. That's an Ag's leash. BKB's down now. Got to be careful about this second round of initiation. They're running in without the BKBs available. This is kind of crazy. FBZ jumps, tries to find a kill on the Venge. Not dead yet. Silence is there. The stun's going to come out in just a second. They've got the puck. Immediately going to go for the Silence runaway. CML is dead. Buys back afterwards. They have elf. that much else left. Oh my god, Keski just walked into death. Now they're looking for Makoto afterwards. The Ravage, they got him. This is going to be proc though. Now trying to run away. His BKB comes out afterwards, has Refresher Shard. They find a Tiny, swap him in and take him down. Now the Puck tries to jump oh, in. Venge yeah. again, barely living. And look at the AM inside the base, trying to hit away at these buildings. They need to come back and defend against this. Dream of Cell tries to get the jump away, so they take down one tier three tower, and that's going to be the extent of it. We're 56 minutes in, and again, Roche is available. They drop the cheese on the ground. Dream of Cell wants to clean this one up if possible. CML dropping some more trees along the way. Toss back in. They got him. This is going to be a dieback for the tree if they're not careful, and he is going to fall. Hide in the meantime. They get the fear out onto all of them. Secondary fear. Round two. Natsumi BKB pop. They jump forward to Pistol Blade. Makoto in some trouble. Ravage, but he had the BKB out already. They take down Kezku. That's his second death. No tiny in this fight either. So Adroit now have somewhat of a free path towards Roche. But do they have another round of spells? They have another Ag's Coil from Puck in just a moment if they want to use it. Natsumi, low on mana, does still have Satanic and Manta. Makoto throws another one of those tornadoes out, interrupting it, trying to bring him low, but they do. <gasps> he got the damage. Oh, oh my god. My god. The damage came out so strong, and they had the vision, so they take him down. Oh, and now bro, they got a combo coming up, but it's not enough damage. The turn now, Dream of Cell, trying to so can they get him? Dream of Cell's hex, he's getting right clicked. Oh my god, he lives. And BFBZ, the snake. Oh my god, he snuck it away. How much did he get? He got the egg and the cheese. We're a couple minutes away from the next tier of items, but it does kind of have that feeling like a droid just want to go all in here. They don't have the Venge. Do they have the illusion? They do have the Venge illusion. And that might be enough for them. Natsumi, again, somewhat low, but he has that illusion. He's actually just doing so much for them. Can't afford to lose it here. 
cannot afford to lose the Venge illusion. They want to. They're trying to bring it down, and they eventually do. They just let it die, but the Hex comes out, and now under control, Makoto, but there's the Aeon Disc again, keeping him alive. It's going to wear out in a second. Disarm onto all of them. Dreamo Cell jumps in onto the Shadow Fiend, trying to get him. They didn't have detection. Requiem, he saves it. Mac hanging on for the moment. Natsumi still trying to take down these buildings, but backdoor protection is there. Do they have any extra forms of control? They've still got him caught, and there's the puck under control. Another round of the Sun Strikes coming. Cataclysm, not enough damage. Everybody is alive again, but they're running out of steam on a droid, or they're not. They kill off the Tiny again. They don't have Metamorphosis. Can they still afford to stick around here? They've got Aegis, another round of the Abyssals, FBZ, the Aeon Discs, a lot, but not enough. The buyback comes from the Puck, and a droid still sticking around, even without meta. This is kind of crazy for them, but again, they feel confident with the Aegis. Somebody right now on a droid is making the call. Let's end this game. Let's stay in this tournament. Let's try and make this work. They take the second set of racks again. No tiny for 70 seconds. The swap in, catch him! Hey, I'm in trouble! No way to save him! The right clicks, it's enough! He's dead, two minutes, buyback, immediately. Boom, he's got the refresher out. Rounds two of this now. Can they do it? They have the damage, but they don't have meta. Natsumi, he's got the rapier, but does he have enough to stay alive? The swap swap, not what they wanted to do. The blink, and now the back out. A droid, they have the rapier, meta back up in 40 seconds. What? Give it to the oh, we got Ballista! Oh my god, Ballista's insane. All right, 250 attack range, and then every time it hits somebody, it knocks them back 50 yards and deals 40 pure damage. This item is insane. Oh, right click going through. They got him caught in a ton of trouble. Anti Mage is just gone. They've got him caught. And this is going to be a droid getting the kill they needed. The good game is called immediately. Fuck, Mr. KFC himself, Dream of Cell. And Adroit are gonna be moving on in this tournament off of a thriller 60 minute match going the distance. Impressive showing indeed. But there's not a fake GG, I don't think. They, they did say in, good game. No, he didn't type in all chat, he typed in uh, friendly chat. <laughs> okay, got it. Understood. As GG is eventually gonna be called, Adroit are going to take a series, they are going.